What we say for controlling the spread of uh, Canada auris is really based on our experience from other multi-drug resistant organisms and um, the, the keys to sort of uh, controlling the in fact con controlling the spread of this organism are um, one to first identify it so suspect it and identify it using the correct laboratory techniques and then once you've identified a patient who's either infected or colonized with Canada auris, um, the patient needs to be isolated um, to so that they're in a single room preferably and no one else is exposed to them. And standard and contact precautions for healthcare workers are very important with hand washing being the key component of, of stopping the spread. And then the second is, um, as you brought up, environmental cleaning and really thorough, careful um, cleaning it because we've learned that this is an organism that really likes to persist in the environment and for this reason we want it to um, really focusing on the environmental cleaning is is paramount to controlling the spread and um, guidelines are on our CDC uh, Canada Oris website but we are recommending bleach or a sodium hypochlorite solution so anything that you would use to clean up a room with C. diff uh, is sort of the level of precaution we need. We're being very careful and uh, to recommend a very high level of um, disinfec disinfection um, because we're, we're not sure if the other products that are commonly used would work. Um, and then finally, the, the um, well, two more things are that um, when there's inner facility transfer of patients, so just like any other multi-drug resistant organism, when a patient is transferred from one facility to another, that there's notification that happens so that um, the new facility can also take the same precautions that the, uh, the, the facility that the patient is coming from is taking to prevent spread in that facility. And finally, I think um, coordination between the healthcare facilities, state and local health departments, and CDC is paramount. Right now, it's it's in a it's in a situation where we can control it if we take aggressive action and this type of coordinated um, infection control efforts are really what's needed to keep it to where it is and not have it spread further in the U.S.